Hello and welcome to the next episode of this disaster series which is all about this Lego room and my life. Now a lot has happened and gone wrong from episode number one to the grand finale of season number one. In reverse order, fallen through a table, we painted all the walls, the floor fell through and everything has been smashed quite a lot. Yes, a lot of it has gone wrong and not only that, our unboxing area developed a leak. Now, to be able to carry on in here, we have to do something in here. Yes, this is an absolute nightmare. Reason is, roof started to leak and it's been a right pain. However, I have been to B&Q. Proof is on the screen right now and I have picked up the felt that is needed for this. I've got all the tacks and all that kind of nonsense and the glue and all the adhesive and all that rubbish. I just need to get up there and get it done. Now, it's coming up to 12 o'clock. The rain is due at three. I have a three hour window to try and get all of this roof done. And I'm, the hard bit, I think, is going to get the old stuff off. That's going to eat into the time. So I am absolutely screwed if I cannot get this done in the next three hours. So today's upload, I think, is all going to be about here. And then when this is all done and this is all in, all the lights are in, all the tables and everything are back in and all the other little bits and pieces, then we can start to focus on upstairs. Now, the reason why I really, really want to get this done is because I can actually repair all the Ninjago bits and pieces in here, out the way. And then I can put the Kallax unit, which is waiting to go up into that area where I've actually put the Ninjago broken pieces underneath the table. Now, with that being said, I really do need to get on with this. So we're going to go to a time lapse, I think, and then we'll catch back up with how it all goes. first bit done and everything that is orange is wet even pumpkins up there having a sniff so the only bit that was dry was the bit that actually ripped off which is not exactly ideal so really this all needs to be replaced as well but i haven't got the time and i haven't got any of it with me and i've already committed to it so i need to sweep all this off get the actual felt that i picked up and then try and get that down before the rain kicks in
So we have made a bit of progress, but I'm going to stop that time lapse now because it is about to start raining. So what I'm going to do, you are absolutely filthy, there we go. What I'm about to do is leave you in here, carry on in the rain. It is now sealed across the top. It's bodged, I know. Um, I've put far too many nails in, but I don't really care. And they have not come through, so don't worry about that. So we are good, obviously. I'm aiming for these, but I don't know where they are. And without measuring it all up properly, I don't have the time. I'm just swinging and hoping for the best, and I am hitting probably about 75 80 percent of them are going into the big big chunky bits of wood all around the outside which is great um slight issue as it always is he says as he falls over that's smooth um this i heard that go so that is not exactly ideal but then at the same time it's an easy enough fix so it didn't really matter too much the top of the board's actually fine you can just feed it moving a little bit and it's just blown the bottom part of the board out so i can i can sort that out it's not a not an issue whatsoever there's i'm sure there's something i can bodge with that and um, with regards to the actual felt it is completely covered so if it rained right now it won't matter if it got very very windy that'd be where the problem is because it'll rip because i need to get it around the outer edges and then stop the wind from getting underneath so that is what i'm going to do now without you and then we're going to come in here get all of this back this all of this all of this all of this now again i think the ninjago is going to go up on here we've got the unboxing table here it was going to be looking nice and then obviously it's not but i'd like to get it all back in rough and ready to see exactly what's what and then we can figure out what we're going to do as a backdrop because i can actually put some insulation in there so you can see i can use the thickness of the boards and then screw another board onto the top i can just take that ladder racking out if need be but we have got a good amount of cubes that we can do some custom bits and pieces with. But I really think if I measure this up later on, if I get some base plates down and measure it up properly, I think we can have Ninjago as a long length across the back because I think that would look nice for the unboxing video. So if that is the case, all those boxes can come down here. This table will just be our repair table for a long, long period of time. And then when I'm not building it, I can just leave it in one of these cubes. Nothing is going to get lost. And that way I can repair and progress at the same time. Check me out multitasking. So that does mean we will be able to get the Calyx in, um, which will be in a completely different upload, which will be next week's upload, but it might be tomorrow for me. So I'm already dreading tomorrow, but I really do need to crack on with this because I don't want it to get too dark. And then as long as I've got the roof done, and if it does start to rain, we can test what we're going to be doing in here. And I just need to cover up some of the gaps on the outer edge with a little bit of timber as well. So I need to get some timber to cut all of that. Yeah, good fun. Right, we are many, many hours later. That is all done. All done all around the outside. It's all tacked down. It's all finished. Not bodged. It's done properly, he says. So fingers crossed. And it still hasn't rained yet, but it is heavy behind the hills. Now, I have got a bit of an issue because all this stuff on the floor needs to go out to come back in. Now, I can't risk taking it out in case it starts raining. So I'm gonna have to try and um, squeeze it all in, I think, and then figure it out from there because obviously I think we've got enough floor space once this gets pushed back, but I have raised these up. Now, the issue I've got is I can't get to the bit that I've raised underneath because, well, everything else is in the way because don't forget, I threw everything in the middle very, very quickly to stop stuff getting damaged. And we lost all the instruction booklets. We lost quite a lot of stuff, which is a right shame and a pain. Um, however, there is stuff that I am looking for in here. So I'm about to do a comparison video of this one, the Batman. I think the X-Men, oh, there's the X-Men 97 one, so that's perfect. I want to do a, um, a full comparison with the Giant Man or Ant-Man. No, Giant Man. It's the Giant Man one. Um, and then I want to get that installed in the Marvel display. And we'll be doing that on the next upload, I think. And also on the next upload, we ha I have started the Natural History Museum. So we can start to space that a little bit. So I think what we're going to have to do is I'm going to mess around with this very, very quickly. See what space I can create in here. Because the table needs to come down. Then the lights need to come down. And then once that's done... I think we're there or thereabouts okay then we can start to speak about the ninjago i can measure underneath the table to the top of the calyx and we can see exactly what's what with regards to that and see if it'll work or not and then i've got to make the decision if i'm going to build it down here well i'm going to build it down here but make the decision i'm going to keep it here 
or if it's going to fit underneath the table up in that display up there. So I'm going to have to go online anyway within this upload as well. So I think that'd be the progress and process of this video. Get this tidy, get it ready for building and boxing. Then get online and check out the measurements of the stuff that I smashed. Right, I know it's dark, but it flickers, doesn't it? So I can't have the light on with this camera um, because it flickers like anything. And again, you can see I'm struggling already because I don't know where to get it from. Because I need to step over this board. Which way shall I go? I will go back over this way and hope for the best. See, this is all ow, ow, not exactly ideal. But the amazing thing is that the floor, actually, <laughs> it's still soaking wet. So this has now been... How wet's that been? That's been like two months now. I just hope that it's just coming in from the top and not coming in from the bottom as well. I can try and squeeze behind this gap. I'm going to go behind there now. I'm going to leave. I'm going to turn you off. Go behind there. See if there's any damage to the bottom. Please say there isn't. And then we'll figure it out from there. Good news and bad news. Good news. The lights work. I did not drill through the electrics. Good news again that it isn't actually leaking from the floor. So we're good with that. It is just coming through the top. Um, all the gutter is lined back up. So I've just done that to make sure it's all okay. Everything I did double check is all tucked around the back of the gutter. So I did do it properly. So it's just going to drip straight in. You'll see it's slanting from top to bottom and how you've got to overlay it overlay it means it's got to be done in a certain way and i have done that correctly so that is fine but it's now going to be a waiting game for that to dry out however i can still put it in the right place but it's just going to be raised up and then all i've got to do is then just take it up and move it forward the width of the calax once it's dry to then put it back down so we can do that now so we'll give that a we'll give that a go it's not going to be perfect perfect but at least it will give us a understanding of exactly what is what now you can see this one is absolutely filthy but this is going to be the one that is not going to be on show so i am hoping now that would do oh dear no i didn't want to do that i am hoping now that with me doing the felt that is it and that the fun and games in here are finished because i haven't actually been able to get on the roof for a month to six weeks because it's just been too wet because it is one of the wettest winters we uh, I think we have had so far so hopefully everybody is okay with the flooding but that is a bit more bodged and a bit more moved over now actually is this one dry behind here yes Happy days. Right, can I get this off? Oh dear, don't want to do that. It's my foot just gone through one of those plastic things. But I was clever at the time, because I raised them up on these plastic things. But now I'm being stupid, because I'm trying to rush and get all these bits and pieces off. So you can see exactly what's happening. I have got it wedged on that. I've got to lift this up and kick that out. I'm too lazy to take all the bits and pieces off. So, time lapse time. You're gonna go into a time lapse, so I can swear to myself as we're doing this, and then I'll just start to tidy up all these other little bits and pieces. And then fingers crossed, we'll be good to go for the lights, back up into the Lego room, go over some of the Ninjago sets, get the tape measure out, and carry on from there. So we are getting somewhere very, very slowly. Now the plan was for this was going to be spare pieces, but now obviously the boxes hopefully from the Ninjago will go in there or it can stack in between these two because that eight is just a spare. It's just an old one that's not going to even be on the, on the camera. So this sort of area where I am now is going to be where I'm going to be sat. The camera's going to be there. I'm going to be sat here. 
and that's basically what you're going to be seeing obviously with the right size chair so lucky this table didn't get damaged yeah oh, very... <laughs> um however if this table's too big and i've got a use for this one this can go back up into the other room but i don't really think it needs to go back up there but because there's not too much more we can do in here because it's now starting to rain we're going to go back into the lego room uh get onto the lego website get the dimensions of the ninjago sets then come back down here later on when it's pitch black and measure with a base plate how many base plates this unit will take and then see if this is enough length to put all of the ninjago stuff side by side and it's gonna be tight because this table is what had the ninjago stuff on this size table that is slightly bigger but i think we might be able to make a nice display hopefully so i will stand up because my legs are starting to hurt and then we will figure out what we're going to do with these at some point as well but for now ninjago Right, let's get straight to it on the LEGO website first, and then I will have a look at the tape measure and see what we've got. So this one is 19 inches high, 21 inches wide, and 10 inches deep. So that's obviously just the base plate, and it is two base plates, I do believe, on this one. Item number 71799, it's 6,163 pieces. Now you've got to imagine these now as a long line. This is going to be the difference. So if we're going to do it in the display in the unboxing area it is now going to be a long line so that is that one written down next one we have got the ninjago city which i'm gonna imagine it's gonna be taller i would think um but i can't remember so ninjago city for this please say you've got the heights <laughs> oh you haven't got the heights oh the pain you can see my face right now there are tears coming out. So you get amazing 16 minifigures. That's spectacular. But this was at the time, for some reason, that they did not measure the heights. But this is a beautiful corner unit. So you can imagine this potentially in one corner. I think it's too pretty, to be honest, to have underneath the table. But then I just don't know if I want it in the unboxing area either. So it's going to be a little bit tricky. And this is going to basically... This segment of the video is now going to turn into a complete waste of time, unless this is the highest bit, and then we should be okay. So the City Gardens is 29 inches in height. So we'll go by that and see if it will fit. So we'll be looking at putting the Calax underneath the table, um, and then seeing if it will squeeze in there. But we'll do the Calax in the next upload. So you've got that to look forward to. And then I've got to figure out exactly what I'm doing with this. But this is a base plate plus that little bit just beside it so that's something else to consider and then the ninjago docks is also a base plate and a half so we have got uh two base plates three four five base plates six and a half base plates i think that's correct six and a half base plates double one for the first set and then it's a main base plate main base plate main base plate two halves it makes another one yeah, it's got a lot. Now, it's going to take up a lot of space, but we need the dock. So this is the other one that is a base plate and a half. And this will also does not have the height, but this is nowhere near as tall as the other one. So it doesn't really matter. But this is a beautiful looking thing. And you can see how they go together on the box. So this is the first this is the first ever set that I saw that you could actually combine the two. And then obviously this makes, this is two and a half base plates in length for this one. And the other one will be three and a half. Um, so yeah, it's a lot, there's a lot going on with this one. Right, let me get the tape measure and see if we can get it in the display. Right, we are straight back up. It is the same day. I've just changed because I was absolutely filthy. I think I need to change straight back and get myself back down. So I am an absolute moron. We've got the measurements. That's absolutely fine. But obviously these are in the way. Now I can obviously easily pull them out and I can measure from the top of the Calax and then just get straight to the top. But I need to get the measurements for a single Calax, not the double. And I haven't done that yet. So, I think rather than then wasting a load more time going back on the IKEA website and doing all that kind of nonsense, I need to carry on in the other room. 
and it's really cold really cold and the wind's picked up massively so i really really hope i put those stuff down on the roof properly tonight it's going to be the night it's going to be the it's going to be the night to sort it out it's now raining again um and it's not very very pleasant whatsoever with regards to a quick update in here because obviously it's supposed to be a lego channel rather than a diy channel we have got all of those different bits and pieces across the back which you've got the rivendale you've got the haunted house you've got the stranger things and things like that then we've got the harry potter now the harry potter into the castle I'm not too sure that works. There are bits and pieces that I want to tweak and do. But we are focusing all our attention over this way, hence where my lunch was from the other day and the drink. Now, we have got those big figurines. Now, the big figurines are the, obviously the Batman, the Spider-Man, we've got the X-Men, and then there is another one, and that is the a giant man that I'm going to do a video for and have that by the Avengers Tower. But I will think about, do I place them up in here? Because it's an, over, it's an oversized model that people can take photos of. But then at the same time, they're going to be beside one of the buildings and they're going to be taller than the building. So it really is not going to work. The only one that's going to be work is the giant man because it's supposed to be absolutely massive. So saying that out loud and looking at what I'm looking at, I've already made that decision. That is not going to work for when I get the other one built. Now, the other thing that possibly might not work is the space needed to build this Ninjago back up. I don't know that table's big enough because there's so many pieces and I'm gonna to have to put them all out. The only thing I can do, I either try and put them all in separate boxes, like little, case, little clear containers, go through them all and then build up those bits and pieces and then that'll be fine or the other thing that I was thinking of doing was actually taking the table apart, losing the legs, losing the table, getting it out of the way, and then using the taller surface for uh, the videos. I can put the laptop on there and that kind of thing. But again, I'm not 100% sure if that's going to fit. Now, I have already moved. I've, I've cleared a load of floor space off. So we are going to go down. And what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to go down, the drill's down there, is I'm going to remove the table, just take the legs and everything out of the way and just stand it up. So then we get a good understanding of exactly how much space that thing takes up. And then I've just got to make the decision then of where am I going to build these? Because it's a bit more difficult when it's all smashed. It was all right if it's in the box, but you just go bag one, bag two, bag three, bag four. But I don't think it's going to be that easy. So I want to get the Calyx in and get the underground display in. That is obviously a plan. And I can still do that. That's still going to happen underneath here because that will go underneath that table in the next video anyway. So it's just out the way because worst case, I build on this table bit by bit by bit by bit and it gets done that way. That's absolutely fine. But this is an absolute massive headache. We're what, two and a half, three weeks in? And it's just, the volume of pieces is just unhealthy, unhealthy. But I want to get all of this to a level first before I can carry on. And what I've also got up here is this. So I actually started in a little bit of spare time that I had, I got the first three bags done just to get the base of this together. So we can figure out exactly what that would look like where. So that'd be something else that we'll either be doing at the end of this video or at the start of the next one. Because this one might be a short one and then we might go into a full blown long one because I really need to spend more time down in there. So with that being said, let's jump back down to the unboxing room. So this is the state of this. Yes, it does look as bad as it looks. Now I probably would have already added in the footage, but I'm saying this to remind myself. The reason why this is so bad is don't forget after I put everything in neat and tidy, it then ended up being a nightmare because it was leaking so much. So I'll add that footage back in now. If I've already added it in earlier on in the video, ignore this, but I'm not taking this bit out because I'm just too lazy to edit this little bit out. But I need to think of what I'm gonna do with this table because this table is wider than this table. It's just slightly higher. But I think if this was completely cleared off, might be able to make it work instead of having this table down here 
And then if that's the case, that's easy enough. I've got a spare table and some legs. They always come in handy so I can just keep it in, in here um, and then just figure out what we're going to do with this backdrop. So this could be a perfect live streaming area as well. Now, if that was the case, I've got to think of what I am going to do with this with regards to the bits and pieces at the top because I don't think it ever was the intention of being Ninjago, even though I've been saying it the whole time. I don't know where to put the larger models in because I've got a big tumbler up there that needs to be built that's a beautiful beautiful looking thing that needs to be done it's either that or there's a different collection goes on there something completely different and it's just there as a as an easter egg and a backdrop i don't know because all of these were going to be for spare pieces but now we've got those boxes and i've got the calyx going in underneath the table so it just depends on what I'm going to do with the space upstairs to what I'm going to be doing here. The good thing is I've got options. That is a good thing. But at the same time, give myself a headache about it because I don't know what to do. I think what we're going to do tomorrow, because it is very, very fresh now and I am cold and I want to shower and I'm just hungry, is I am going to clear all of this up tomorrow. All of this bits off the top. Get the tape measure on it so we know exactly what length it is. But I'm sure it's basically a table and a half of this length. And it is slightly deeper. So that works out to be absolutely fine. These will just sit in these cubes or sit on top. And I have got two smaller lax tables. I need to take a lax table up into the um, Lego room. Because I could then potentially do shorts on there that could be a pull out a pull out table basically that would be permanently uh, permanently there for me to do bits and pieces on so that could potentially work or potentially depending on the height of it it could actually go underneath the other table with the calyx so that's that's going to be an interesting one but i'm going to take it up there ready and then that will more than likely like i said be a different uploads i think this will just be a shorter one so I can put it all together and this will be a shorter video. It was easier taking for a long, 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 long time to put together. And then the next one might be a slightly longer upload, um, carrying on with the disaster series up in there. So plan of attack for me to tomorrow, get this table taken apart, get all of this neat and tidy, figure out if this is going to go here or if it's going to go here. Because if it's going to go there, then it makes no sense as a backdrop if this is going to be there. So it's going to have to stay there anyway. But I just don't know if it's just silly having this table in front of a big table because it's all changed. It's all changed. The ideas have changed, basically, which is fine, which is good. Um, but this I don't want to put to waste. And I have got another one that I don't particularly want to put to waste either. So worst case, it just gets used as storage for now and we don't do anything in here. But ideally, I want to do something in here. So. I am going to sleep on it and I'm going to catch back up with you guys in the morning. So today is a new day and it is still an absolute nightmare. On a good thing, it's not ripped, the roof fell off and it is really, really heavy wind. So, so far, so good. Hasn't been tested properly yet because it hasn't really rained that much. So I am still waiting for that to happen. Now, I was thinking about this. I was thinking, oh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to move all of this and do all of this and then blah, 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 blah. Slight problem. Didn't think about it yesterday when I put this unit back that it's wet on the ground still. So I left it raised up. But it's also wet in the corner where the other stuff is that I didn't raise up. So I'm going to have to move all of that out to let the dry, the floor dry properly. Otherwise, it's just going to smell and it's going to take forever to dry. So we know that I need to tidy all of this up. That's fair enough. And we know over here that each one of these Calyx squares will take basically a base plate. So we've got plenty of space for bits and pieces on that. And then I have got options. I either make a nice display up at the top. I fill each one of these squares with just sets that I can't use up in the actual uh, Lego room. And then we just rotate them around that way, which is a good option. And then I can still do some filming in here with regards to like unboxing and just do some more type videos because I can just get the lighting set up in here properly and then just edit and all that kind of thing. And I don't end up knocking anything. The bad side of that is obviously I've actually got to get the sets down into where I am, which is, an, again, another absolute nightmare, but it's doable. But I can't do any of that until this has dried. So rather than wasting your time and moving all of this again, this might be over a couple of weeks, but it will be in this one video. So when you come back into here, it's basically going to still look like this. But the stuff that's behind the camera, which is a pile of just stuff, would have been moved out or over 
to then get put back in the corner neat and tidy like it is for then us to be able to carry on because I don't want to bring the lighting or anything in here because I'm going to have to pile everything on top of each other like I had to do last time. So worst case scenario, when we go up into the Lego room, the Ninjago stuff might have already been repaired by the time this is all um, dried out, which means it does give an option for the display, because I don't know whether to then bring the Ninjago down here when it's already built to have it on display or we do something else. But there is options with regards to spare pieces that I've got, because I've got thousands and tens of thousands of bricks in another box that I do need to sort. So I do need to have a storage bin somewhere and it either needs to be down here, which won't make any sense, or I need to make space up in the Lego room. So that is gonna be potentially the next upload or the upload after that one, because it's gonna be a big, big video. So stick around for this one and I will crack on and start the next one. Right, it has now got dark and we are at a completely different timestamp. However, it's dry enough for me to carry on, which is perfect. But because it is so dark, I am gonna have to turn the lights on and it will start to pulse. So there is a fair warning. Now, I have had far too much time to think, which is always a worry when it comes to doing different bits and pieces. Now, this thing here. Omen and I are in what to do with it, what am I going to do with it, what am I going to do with the top? It's going to be my spare pieces. I'm going to have all of this for storage of all different spare pieces. And I have got all the boxes out of the Lego room ready to come into here, pile them up for each thing to be taken apart individually. Any set that we don't need, so any of these, for example, obviously it's an example, but any of these will just get stripped down and they'll be put in its own storage container, which means the next upload that is coming from here will be a road trip to pick up the storage boxes or I'm gonna to have to order them and they're gonna take a couple of weeks to arrive. So we're gonna wrap up the video in here by taking this table apart, making as much space as we can on the floor, clear this top off, put the boxes that I have got ready to bring down on top of here, show you one or two of the sets with regards to um, just the size of these boxes and then we'll finish it and then in a couple of weeks time, we will be back in here once I've tidied up the mess that is in the loft currently, because I'm currently running a couple of videos parallel from each other. So a bit of a sneak peek of what you've got coming next week is... Actually, I will film this as a time-lapse because... Well, that couldn't be any worse timing, could it? That big box, which says this way up and it's upside down. That's funny. Can only get up that gap when the loft ladders are vertical. It's me tidying up the mess that you've just seen. And then, um, yeah, we've got to try and figure out what storage unit's best. So what I need from you guys and girls is what do you store your spare bricks in? What's the best thing that you use? What is it that you do? I am hoping that I can get some bits and pieces that will fit inside these Kallax cubes. And then I'll put some more bits and pieces on top. So we've got loads and loads of storage space from here. It's a perfect area for me now to do this and it kind of makes sense me having it in here because if, for example, I buy a set that I like or I want the minifigures from and I do a comparison video, but I've got no use for it in a theme park, I can then just strip it down, put it straight into the boxes and then use those parts for something else and basically recycle those pieces. So it makes more sense. So like I said, I need to tidy up all of this, get this table taken apart and then I will show you the scary amount of stuff that will be coming into this room. Something has been achieved. Every single one of these boxes and bags is full of different Lego bricks. And they're not just bricks as in loose bricks, they are old sets. So there's the old airport. What we got in here, that is the old football pitch. 
so you can see lego.com on there and there's all the police bits and then as we come through into here we have got that's all the adventure stuff you can tell by the tan on there there's your base plate there's your blimp there's your instruction booklets of everything and then this box again each one of these bags is just full of different sets and it is i think is everything from 96 97 and 98 pretty much every single set that came out under the different lines and there will be some of the original star wars sets there as well i think they were 99 uh, I've seen one or two of those, and if you've had a flash, technically a, uh, it's not even a flashback, is it? It's a future, a future thing of what's coming, um, and it was in there somewhere. But all of these, there's the old space stuff, all need to be stripped down potentially. Well, 90% of it's going to be stripped down and then put into storage containers, and then I can use the pieces however I want to use the pieces. If I want to rebuild it at a later date, I can do. Every single thing here is complete. Nothing is on the Lego room floor. All of this got broken down a long, long time ago and they've all been put into these bags. Now there might be some bits and pieces in here that might work perfectly well. There might be other bits and pieces that we just want the bricks from. But again, all this stuff in here, they're just full of sets. That's just full, it's just, they're all full basically, all full of just stuff. So the next time we're in here, which will be in a good few weeks time potentially, we will all be about storage. And I will end up having the chair that I want up in here, we'll get the lighting properly in here, and then we'll have all of the storage containers in here. And then an hour or so a week, I can just sit, split and do. Now, how do you sort out your bricks? Now I am thinking if I had two drawers, I'd have each drawer of the same color, I'd have plates of all sizes in one drawer and I'd have the bricks and studs in another. And then as you get more and more, you can obviously get the smaller ones and each individual piece. I'm not going to have everything as individual pieces because I don't think I'll have enough space and that just costs a fortune to start with. So as a start off, I'm thinking of having all base plates, all different plates is of a colour in one and then all bricks of a colour in another and then get that amount of drawers needed for that to happen and then move further afield maybe into the translucent pieces can all be put into one thing so like all the translucent lights can go into one and then all the translucent bricks can go into another that's how i'm thinking of doing it to start with but i'm sure some of you have been doing it forever and there will be a better way of doing it but this video is going up and i will not physically be in here or be able to even start this project for at least another two to three weeks from when this video goes live so i can read all your comments and i can really get the correct bits and pieces needed fingers crossed this roof i've done the roof properly and it doesn't leak i really really hope that is the case so with what's to come on the lego room there's a lot going on with that in a week or two's time then the Kallax is going to go in there and then we're going to get some bits and pieces repaired in there so there's lots of stuff to come from in there and then i can get my teeth sunk into this bit and we can get all the lighting and everything in here and proper and then just figure out exactly what is what but with regards to this upload it's a much shorter upload than normal i think i'm done so guys, thank you very much indeed. Again, comments, let me know how you store yours. But if you can like this video and subscribe to the channel, that'd be absolutely fantastic. Don't forget to hit that notification bell as well because YouTube seems to love all that kind of thing. So if you can do, do so. If you don't want to, not a problem whatsoever. But let me know what you want me to do with these sets. Would you like me to rebuild them first to then do a load of old school um, unboxing videos? just to see what these sets were like from back in the day. Compare them to the modern city stuff. 96 police stations, nice. I think the 97 is the horrible, or the, the 98 police station is the really weird green front. And then they went to really blocky stuff. And that's why I stopped collecting it in the early 2000s for a while, just because they went through a very, very weird phase of stuff. And then it's come back and done full circle. So there's a lot of very nice sets in here, which I would be happy to share with everybody. And that potentially could be a completely different video series. And then that means I don't actually have to buy anything for the Lego room for a long time because, well, there's a unhealthy amount of complete sets in here that I either need to strip 
into boxes, which I'm going to do anyway, but I could potentially rebuild them first. But you let me know in that comment section. But guys, as always, thank you very much for watching. You lot take care and the next one. Ta-da. Thank <laughs> you.